be doing in this video is using the thumbstick on the Oculus Rift to move left and right and rotate the camera. So the first thing we're going to do is work off the right hand controller. I'm going to right click and motion controller thumbstick right and we are after the X axis. The first thing we want to do is make the axis value greater than, so we'll put in a float that is equal or greater than 0.8. Now the reason why I do 0.8 is because if it is 1, then the spot needs to be right on that joystick all the way to the right, where 0.8 gives a bit of flexibility. So when this condition is true, we need to put in a branch. And let's throw that one in so when this condition is true, we want stuff to happen. What I'm actually going to do is actually cheat a little bit and we're going to use stuff that we already have. So this part here is the fade in, the fade out for our teleporter. Uh, I'm going to grab these pieces, so fade in duration, play camera manager, fade in color, and I'll even take the delay as well, even though I don't need it. Um, while we're here, I'm just going to grab the player camera, the fade duration, and I'm just going to take all that, and I'll do a control C to make our lives a little easier, bring it down all the way down, and I'm going to plop it here with a control V. Player camera, when it is true, this bit here fades the camera. What I want to do is give it a bit of a delay. Uh, I need to add actor local rotation as I want to uh, rotate a certain amount. Now I only want it to rotate on the Z axis. So I'm going to select the drop down and I want to split up the delta rotation. I'm going to right click and split construction pins. Now I've got the Z axis. I've already created the variable for the rotation amount and I've set it to 45 degrees. So every time we touch the joystick, it rotates 45 degrees to the right. Now bring that across over here, get rotation amount and put it in the Z axis there. From here, we can fade in our camera so our game is now visible. And then what I'm going to do is throw in another delay so that nothing happens for a little bit, even if we smash the joystick. So now we have a working solution. So we can see that I can move right, but I can't move left because that has not been set up. So we're just going to focus on right for now. So the other issue that we have right now is that if I hold down the joystick and aim to the right, it just starts spinning, which is not what we want. So we need to stop that from happening. So from here, we can have a look at the right hand teleport rotation. Now let's get a bit of data from here. So when the right hand controller teleport is active, control C, control V, when this is false, we are not teleporting. So it's when we are false, we want it to work. So let's put in another branch. So the condition, let's put it in here. So on false, it will flow through and then we're going to break the true. So when this condition is false, it allows us to rotate. So now if we go back to the game, so I'm turning right and now I've got the joystick down and I'm spinning all the way around and nothing is happening and I can press right and it spins. And so that is pretty much how we set it up. Now we need to set it up for the left hand side. Uh, in this point here, I'm going to add in a sequence and what I'm going to do is grab all these blueprints here, control C, control V, and now I'm gonna bring in the axis value down here. And what we need to do is delete this equal to or greater than and add in a new float. Now what we need to do is select less than or equal to, and we're going to point it to minus 0.8 because we're going left. Now zero is the middle, one is to the right, and minus one is to the left. So we'll bring that down here, connect that into the condition, bring our sequence down here. And the other thing that we need to do is change the amount to rotate right. So we want to change the that to rotate amount left, and in that needs to be negative 45 degrees. And if we have a look, compile and play, now we can go left and right.